this is the nail that we are that I am about to do for you guys. This is my watermelon nail and this red mix is my sand mix I made to do the watermelon. And the green part I use acrylic mix that I got from Bam Shabat 691 and I um, also embedded two different size slices of watermelon to go into this nail. So for this nail we are going to start off with um have a full nail on here. So I'm just going to go ahead and rough it up so I get the shine off the nail. Like so. And I'm just going to start off with this watermelon sand mix that I made. I'm going to be applying it to the bottom half of my silk. Yeah, I'm just starting at the bottom of the nail. I really, really like how my mix turns out. You could also use this mix for strawberry, also. So this probably would make a pretty nice uh, strawberry and kiwi nail. And I like working with the sand mixes because a little bit of sand goes a very long way. So I have my strawberry part on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with this Mia Secret green flash neon and like I said I got this from down she bad and all I'm going to do with the green mix is form a very small small line So I have the green on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a pink nail bed with my very own super glittery pink nail bed mix. Is super pink. Everyone knows that I really don't use no bed mixes on my nails, but every now and then I will add a pink glitter nail bed. So 
So now that I have my male bed in place, you can go see that pink male bed glittering pink. Now I have two different size of the watermelon slices. You see one is extra small and one is large. I'm going to take a slice of each one to put in this nail. So I have that slice. That slice. So now all I'm going to do is take a very small dab of acrylic use the acrylic to put it on. And I have the other one right here. Right by it. And now I'm just going to encapsulate the whole nail. So I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate this nail. I'm not going to do it on camera because the angle is just too messed up for me. But I'll be back after it is file shaped and bow. So here's the finished product, y'all. I have encapsulated it, I filed it, I shaped it, I buffed it, and I have added my top coat, and this is how it turned out. And this is the one that I, this is the first one that I did just to see if my idea would work for the strawberry or watermelon nail with that mix and this is the one that I just did in the camera for you guys. And I just think they are super cute. So thanks for watching you guys. Go ahead and comment on this nail and if anyone wants some of my uh strawberry watermelon mix just let me know and I would love to send you all a little baggie along with some sh the two strawberry I mean along with the watermelon females also so if someone wants this mix I'll, I'll let you get a sample of the mix and I'll also fill in some of the watermelon thanks for watching